Hello and welcome back to Wargame with me, Gary. Um, <laughs> two problems. First of all, I'm still wearing the Harlequins colours, even though we got hammered this weekend by a London Irish. Oh, such is life. Although, having said that, me and my brother-in-law, Mickey Brown, got very drunk. <laughs> so, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing, I'm, I seem to be having problems with my my camera it it won't transfer from so i'm filming on a uh, samsung uh, tablet at the moment um when i try to transfer that to my laptop which is where i then transfer onto uh youtube or upload onto youtube um it won't allow me it doesn't seem to want to allow me to um download more than about 15 minutes uh, and it's saying like, it keeps coming up with the uh, disc is full, so I'm not going to. So I'm going to have to do shorter videos until I get my uh, Sony camera sorted out. All right, that's enough. Of that what am I going to do today? Today I'm going to show you some figures that I have finished. But first, I'm going to show you what's on the uh, work workbench, and then I'm going to do a separate video of uh, comments. Uh, I'm going to keep them separate so I don't so, so it doesn't go on for too long. So. Now I'm not going to go into too much about um, you know like the, the painting of the figures on the bench. I'll go into a little bit more with the figures that I've finished, but I just want to get cracking with these. So if we look here, oh that's a bit close. There we are. Right, this box in front of me has whoops. Oh, I'll have to hold him up. So there's boars. I've done, I've done so I've done the base coat which is black. Then I've done a grey uh, feather brush on that. I've done the eyes which will be red with a small um, black dot. I've started the tusks which are off white, uh, and I'm going to do a uh, brown wash on them and then highlight them. Uh, so that's them. And then I've got I'll show you one of the um, orc riders or the orc boar riders. Uh, here we are. Uh, as you can see, I've done the flesh colour. Um, then I've washed that with white and then I've uh, feather brushed to get some highlights on it as well. I've finished the eyes. I don't know if you can see the eyes on this, Sam Sag, I'm not sure. But I've done the eyes yellow with a black pupil. So, uh, yeah, so, and I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. It seems to be going all right. So that's, let's get them out of the way. Right, and then come up here. Then we've got the Egyptians over here which um, are part painted, but what I've got, oops. So as you can see, what I've done is I've done the flesh color, uh, and then I've done a, a wash brown and then highlighted the flesh. Uh, I've also done um, the linen or like whatever that cloth would be. Um, and I've done it, I've started off with a light gray. I think it's ghost gray. And then I've highlighted that with white. Uh, and I think that's okay. And uh, it's picked out, you know, I think it looks all right. Um, yeah. Uh, and then I've done the headdress, uh, which you can see is, it was grey, uh, and then I highlighted with white, and then I've put blue, uh, light blue uh, stripes on there. So that's the Egyptians, and they're from Warlord, Warlord, uh, Warlord figures. Then uh, Renegade figures, so we come back, if I go out, you can see them all from there, I think. Just about, yeah, just about. So let's come back in. Oh, sorry, don't want to make anyone feel seasick. Right, Renegade Orcs, and these have uh, arrow, uh, bow and arrows. So they've come up uh, very nice. Again, I've done the um, uh, uh, flesh colour with green um, green uh, wash, and all, and all the pupils on all the Orcs are yellow. Okay, uh, so um, yellow iris with black pupil. Uh, so that's uh, orc with crossbow. I've got uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got ten, eleven of them. Uh, eight of the guys with bows, and then I've got these chaps with uh, melee weapons. I, 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 I call them. Uh, same again, and I've got a whole crowd of them. I mean, there's what one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 12, 18 at the moment. And then I've got, uh, so they're all renegade there. And then I've got some black tree. Uh, 
And this guy, I think you can see him. Am I raising him up? Where's the dot there now? All right, same again. So this is from the Savage Orc collection. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, significantly smaller. Uh, yeah, significantly smaller than the other guys. Uh, the Renegade. But I think they'll, I think they'll work well. Um, then we've got... Oops. Spearman. More Savage Orcs. Um, same process again. I've, uh, I've done a little bit more highlight on these guys. Because I, I quite liked... The flesh colour, it came out quite nicely. Uh, and then I've got some, uh, all from Black Tree. Um, it's the last three uh, figures I'm showing you now are all from Black Tree Designs. Uh, and uh, again, this is from the oh, this is from their Warrior collection. Uh, and I think they're really nice. And they're going to make my, they're going to fill my regiments up, which will be absolutely brilliant. So, right, I'm just going to push them out of the way. And then, oops, I'm going to show you the figures that I've painted. Okay, so, i just put them in front of me. They're all orcs. Um, one is that. One is that. And let's see if I can tip that up and get them all in shot. Yes, I think that's not bad. That's not a bad shot. So, um, yeah, so what I've got here is I've got a uh, Black Tree Warrior Collection, uh, Black Tree Savage Collection, Black Tree Savage Collection. Now, these, the ones at the front, um, whoops, as you can see, lots of chainmail on this guy, which makes life so much easier, doesn't it? You paint these off so quickly, it's really nice. Um, I'm not going to go into too much how I've painted them, uh, other than to say there's lots of washing and highlighting on these figures. Uh, the bases have come up quite nice. I've purposely gone for a muddy colour with a little bit of flock. I don't particularly like that flock. Um, I've got a, um, I've got a nice uh, bit of grass, uh, long grass there, and that's. I think that looks much nicer. So um, I, I, um, I might do more of that and a lot less. Of that flop. Then I've got so I move them out away and put them at the back. Uh, then I, then we'll go. Then we'll look at these ones. These are from the Savage Collection. Let's move back just a little bit. Okay. And then if I bring it forward now, what I've done with these, I hope I hope you can see it with the. Um, I've done like an Indian war paint, like red Indian war paint, kind of motive on them. And they, they, these are, I got these, I got these colours all from, or the, or the patterns and colours, all from uh, pin, Pinterest. And they're all, according to the, the, uh, the, where I've copied it from, they're all authentic Indian war paint colours. So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, one with a bow there, another pattern there. Yeah. And again, like, uh, yeah, and I think the bushes on there, on the uh, the grass, the long grass looks nice. I'll just show you the top of his head. He's got some dots, yellow dots on his head. And then the last guy here, um, as you can see, painted on the head. I've done, I've only done the faces, and I think that I'm quite pleased. I think that's come out quite well. It's quite intricate. Um, like lots of scribbling about. Let me see if where's the where's the yeah yeah so the top of the head yeah so um yeah I was quite pleased with that. So there's the um savage arrow guys, and then I've got here the two savage boar riders, and if I bring I'll bring him in close, and you can just see now what I've done. I'm purposely covering up the flanks of the boar because you see the face on that orc see the yellow stripes i've done the same on the boar and i think that's come out quite nice and i know that red indians used to do that on their ponies a lot they would uh, uh, paint their ponies up the color as well and the last guy here a bit more paint on him and then if i turn the boar around to the side you can see on the flanks 
there's quite a bit more paint there uh, war paint so yeah I'm quite pleased with them I think they've come out very well um, looking forward to getting a whole load more done uh, getting the rest of those painted I've got some more in boxes that I, know I need to get painted but generally I don't think it's not three bad I think so um, so I'll see you next time I'm going to do another video but this will just be for comments uh, and look, I'm running a 10 nearly, nearly I'm heading towards 11 minutes so I, I think I'm going to see if that hopefully that will load and then um, we'll see how it goes well really nice chatting again and I'll speak to you all soon take care bye